Oh hello, I'd like to tell you how to make your own antiseptic hand gel, sanitising hand gel. These little bottles are hard to get now, the shops seem to have run out of them, but uh, if you look on the ingredients at the back, you can see the main active ingredient, the really important one, is alcohol. And there are two forms of alcohol that you can use to sanitise your hands. One is the ordinary alcohol that you find in gin or vodka or beer or wine but that's difficult to buy in high concentrations and you need about 60% alcohol for your hand rub to be effective. So it's much more economical to use isopropyl alcohol also called rubbing alcohol or propanol it has various chemical names but isopropyl alcohol is the usual one. This is in uh, good supply, it's industrial chemical, you can buy it online, it's quite cheap to buy. So this is the one I'd recommend you to use. Why not just use alcohol? Well you could do that, um, but it will make your hands very dry, it'll take all the oil out of your hands, and it's a bit runny as well, so it's a bit difficult to apply. So better if you can mix it up with some sort of gel so that you can apply it more easily and uh, keep your hands moisturised. So, the recipe I'm going to use, I've bought some aloe vera hand gel. Uh, this is stuff that you use when you've been in the sun and your skin's a bit dry and sore. Uh, it has a little bit of aloe vera in, uh, but most importantly it has things like glycerin in that are going to keep your hands nice and soft. So, the way we're going to do this is we're going to mix this material, which has a little bit of alcohol in it already, 50-50 with this isopropyl alcohol, um, and that will give us the concentration of about 60%, which is what you need for the antibacterial property to work. And we're just going to mix it in a jam jar. So we're going to take all of this stuff, the whole bottle full. if you don't get every little bit out. So that's about half the jar and then we're going to mix it with an equal volume of isopropyl alcohol or IPA. Just have to be a little bit careful with this stuff, it is flammable so don't uh, do it while you're smoking or around candles or any naked lights. Then we need to give it a good mix And you can still see that it's still got some sort of syrupy consistency, so it's not going to run all over the place when you put it on your hands. And then all we need to do is to transfer some of it back into the, the bottle. There we go, we can keep the remainder in the jam jar for future use and there you've got your homemade hand sanitizer. A nice gel, rub it on and you can feel it's evaporating as the alcohol evaporates and it's a, not an unpleasant smell. So there you have it, how to make your own hand sanitizer. Thanks for watching.